Some Pokédex entries say that Pokémon can destroy entire worlds. And other Pokédex entries claim that Pokémon move by farting. Well, today we're gonna check out what Pokémon would feel like if these Pokédex entries were taken literally. Starting off, we have Kyogre! Kyogre Yo! has the power to create massive rain clouds that cover the entire sky and bring about torrential downpours. Ooh. This Pokemon saved people who were suffering from droughts. Okay, this might get a little crazy. Yo, it's raining okay, so hard! Thank you, big whale god guy. <laughs> yeah, very happy there's no drought anymore. A lot of water, though. Lot there is a lot of water, of water there! there. And, and that's new. Maybe a little too much. I feel like he flooded entire houses hard, and cities and towns. Groudon. Oh, and now we got Groudon. Groudon has the power to scatter rain clouds and make water evaporate with light and heat. That is the exact he opposite of Kyogre. To people who had been suffering from terrible floods. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. He just destroyed Kyogre. Oh, good. And got rid of all the rain Godzilla and water. Just punched the whale god. Flooding is gone. <laughs> But now uh, it looks like uh, we're back to the drafts. Maybe our weather hey, is only in a wild Wait, what is that pattern that Groudon is walking in? Um, sucks. Hey, yo, Rayquaza. what was that? And now we got Rayquaza. A Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to oh, fight. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're scrapping. Hey, the Rayquaza hey, is out. coming down. Bring Daddy Rayquaza up. says stop. and Kyogre are kaiju born of the elemental forces of nature. How can any being, even one as powerful as Rayquaza, <laughs> hope to stop them? That's a, yeah, that's so light work for Rayquaza. My mom has no clue where I am right now. <laughs> it's Brandon, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, some 12 year old kid just comes by and catches both okay, so of them. We're Easy peasy. With some rando kid personally controlling the elemental beasts <laughs> of land and water, he could take over the world if he wanted. That is to. true. I'm he definitely name could. I'm the whale one, Moby Dick. <laughs> Get it? Herman Melville's tragic story that explored themes of obsession and man versus nature? Uh, no, the whale book. this book. Yeah, I think we'll probably be fine. Bro! That is true, though. That's so much power for a 12-year-old kid to have. But now we're moving Gafita. on to Gafita. Though they're still only babies, there's psychic power stored in their ribbon-like feelers, and sometimes they use that power to fight. Feelers? Ribbon-like feelers? Mega punch. Uh, can we talk about this one? <laughs> I kind of just don't want to mega punch a, a baby. I it's know, level it's two. A baby, but... I mean, come on, that's a straight that up baby. Yeah, that, nice that, that is kind of wrong. I tell you to mega punch it's that kind of messed baby. up. This is a Nintendo game, right? Nintendo <laughs> approved this. Nintendo Hit my chain with morals. Mega punching. Let's go. A baby? Hit you my know chain. You know I'm not buying it. Get Shigeru Miyamoto on the phone. I want to hear this <laughs> straight from him. That's the creator Gatherina. of Pokemon. According to many old tales, it creates friends for itself by controlling sleeping children on Ew, nights. What? That's Come so creepy! Friends. We have many games oh. to play beneath the stars. Okay, this yeah, let's go. teenager is kidnapping and you brainwashing better punch this one in the face. And Shigeru freaking Miyamoto is fine with it? He is the guy who tried to get <laughs> Rare to make all the bad guys Hug. Dude, this is why you should have punched the baby. If you punched the baby, it never would have been able to evolve. This is Loki and Munchan's fault. You should have punched the baby when he had the chance. Now it's kidnapping children to their sleep. Well done, hit Munchan. James Bond at the end of GoldenEye 64. I'm serious. Look it up. He <laughs> thought the game was too violent and that everybody should just hug at the end kumbaya style like they were all participating <laughs> in a team building exercise but this is he's heated. fine with Gothit oh gosh god that gonna be they crazy can predict the future from the placement and movement of the stars please don't no more stealing children trainers lifespans okay no more stealing right, children at you least you know what you're a fully grown goth lady now and i'm gonna mega punch you yeah you They're can punch this thing six months Oh God! Sonic lands on you after accidentally falling asleep and entering Earth's atmosphere. 
It renders you in twain, but does not kill you immediately. You spend seven hours in agony, trying in vain to return your innards to their rightful Marching place, Marching! before you are dragged to a poker center by a small child on a bicycle. Please punch this thing in the face. As he only has three pokeballs and is not willing to lose any of his level two catarby for some Pokemon he's never met before. Sadly, you are beyond help by the time they process your insurance information four hours later. I'm uh, I'm just gonna go now. Hey, hit Munchin. I didn't choose run. Where are you? Hey, going? I just got, got hypnotized. Six months to get to oh my gosh. And ask Shigeru Miyamoto why this hot lady just hot. told my agonizing death in what is ostensibly a children's game. Just punch game it in the face. Kids. Punch it in the face, hit Munchin. Come on. Oh my gosh. Next up, we have Diglett. Diglett. Uh -oh. Many farmers cherish and nurture Diglett because its droppings enrich the soil it lives in. What? So and farmers love Diglett because they like its poop because it helps crops grow. That is incredible. Wow, I wish I was a Diglett. I'd get paid for my poop. Oh, oh I get fed oh. for my poop. What's that smell? That smell is the <laughs> smell of prosperity. Diglett poop. It's the smell of success. Smells like Diglett duty. <laughs> it is yeah. also that. Yeah. Yo How are they even pooping? Do these things got butts? I ain't never seen the bottom They're of one. They're just dropping <laughs> nukes down there. Yo! Blame old friend over and get you a chili and black coffee Yo! smoothie. Diglett is double cheeked up on a Tuesday. Oh my gosh. That is an image I don't think I could ever take out of my head. What on earth? I always did wonder what the full body of a Diglett did look like because we can only see its head. That is the opposite of what I was expecting. Oh my god. And now we have Dunk Trio coming up next. Hopefully we get three double cheeked up Tuesday booty cheeks. A or maybe not. I don't know. Triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. Whoa, okay, that's much Guys, different. I don't think that laxative it. apple juice smoothie is sitting right. Yeah, oh, same. Oh, God. I gotta go bad. Oh, God. Oh, this God, one's this gonna, gonna be, be nasty. Bad. Let's do it deeper on the ground. 60 miles, maybe. <laughs> They're going 60 miles underground to drop a deuce. Oh, boy. Oh, no. What's gonna happen? Oh! Did you three oh. poop so hard underground that it chipped the tectonic plates of the earth? Um, yeah. Oh huh. my gosh. Hey. But Pa, ain't there a problem with there being countless trios Bro. speeding around underground pooping so hard the plates of the earth shift? Well, I'm sure it's fine, son. Everything is fine and normal. No problem. Oh my god, it's a poop volcano. A poop volcano. Alrighty, next up we have Phoebus. Ridiculed for its shabby appearance, it is yeah. ignored by researchers. It lives in ponds choked with weeds. The thing is pretty ugly. I'm just saying YouTube's be honest. not that impressive. The right researcher with the right lab could turn any Pokemon into the hottest Pokemon in town. Come on, bro. Oh, you don't gosh. really mean that. I do. I'll prove it to you. I'll He'll take do with the, the Phoebus. ugliest, boringest Pokemon and win the Pokemon Research Prom Queen Award. The most prestigious award in Pokemon research. <laughs> All right, bro. You're on. Ah, Here we go. piece of trash has come to life. Not the normal <laughs> way, like Garbodor. Give me your shotgun, Palmer. Nuh-uh. That's You're supposed your to catch it. new yeah. research subject. Phoebus? It does hey, evolve into a beautiful Pokemon. Milani. Here we go. It is Let's the go. world's most beautiful Pokemon. There are many works of art featuring Melodic. They say it's the world's most beautiful Pokemon. I respectfully disagree. My vote is Diglett. I mean, come on. Come on. It's got to be Diglett at this point. Come on. Or Gardevoir low putty too. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, bro? Come on. So, where's your Phoebus, hotshot? You're looking at her. What? Phoebus evolved into that? Yes, sir. The most beautiful Pokemon the research community has ever seen. That's right. We've got the Pokemon research prom king and queen <laughs> wrapped up. Wait, how did a fish evolve into an eel? This genuinely makes zero sense. <laughs> or does it make all the sense in the world? Now, if you'll excuse me, we're going to go do some um, research. Yo, what does he mean yeah, by that? This might be the most upsetting thing that's ever happened in a literal Pokedex video. Hey, Diglett made it. Let's go. That's my boat right there. 
Let's go, my boy! Booty cheek diglet! Pimplop. Pimplop. Because it is very proud, it hates accepting food from people. Its thick down guards it from cold. Hot it's thick down trio. guards it from cold. What Get does that your mean? hot dog trio here! I'll take two. Here you go, pal. Get that food away from me. I can take care of myself. <laughs> you're lucky the cold, I admit, means you're uh, one of the only Pokemon I could be friends with. Oh, God. Move, move, move. Oh, my cargo has like 18,000 Fahrenheit. Because every Prinplub considers itself to be the most important, they can never form a group. You evolved. That's pretty cool, bud. Get away. Maybe now you can accept food from other- I don't think this is working anymore. <laughs> I'm going solo. Are you kidding? <laughs> Groups are essential to penguin survival. Haven't you ever seen that Morgan Freeman documentary? <laughs> Bro. If anyone were to hurt its pride, it would slash them with wings that can cleave through an That's ice That's true. Flow. It does have very sharp You're wings. You're no better than a magic carp. Oh, he's going to evolve again. He's going to evolve again and attack the Reggie Ice, bro. Oh my gosh. Me one no! more time. Look at what you did. The prideful Empoleon has too late realized oh, it's an egg. egg. What? In its absence, its egg has begun to die, suffering the frigid conditions within Reggie Ice's area of effect. <laughs> Even with the extreme heat of a mine cargo, this youngling will not survive through the seventh inning. Stretch. Oh, they're doing like a Nat Geo Wild, like, like a bit here. <laughs> I get it. Oh, don't worry about that one egg, friend. I'll have my ditto over here mate with you, and you'll pop out thousands of them just like that. <laughs> oh, phew, thanks. That's reassuring. Wait, did you say thousands? Yo. All right, next up, we got ourselves Grimer. Grimer. Okay. Sludge exposed to x-rays from the moon transformed into Grimer. What? It loves feeding on filthy things. That is the craziest Pokedex x-ray I've ever seen. It was slime that the rays from the moon hit and then poof, you got a Pokemon. Dude, that's actually pretty gnarly. Dear God, x-rays <laughs> no. from the moon just turn sludge into a living being. That's because crazy. Sludge. Lord knows what it's doing to a regular person like me. Ew. That great just what I needed. There is fundamentally no difference between us. Time to turn the tables. <laughs> don't do it. Wait, don't do it. Capture the other dude with uh, two heads. If you spell the grimer backwards, it spells Rimerg. Weird, right? <laughs> what? what is I wrong think with that, that thing? Works for like Deckens and Arbuck. Oh Muck. gosh! Don't spell this the one backwards, toxic please. Fluid seeps from its body. The fluid instantly kills plants and trees on Ew. contact. Whoa! Oh, great! It's getting bigger. Dude, it's uh, Ash Ketchum, but don't do Stop this thing from wreaking havoc. Go, Ash Dura! Oh, yep, GG's. I mean, that's just not a good matchup. Jeez, what the hell is coming out of these moon x-rays? Go Hunua, the double-headed human type. <laughs> oh, God. Where, oh, he's naked! I it? see his butt cheeks and his nipples! Oh, God. The oh, it's evolving. Me evolve again. Wait, he's gonna have a third head? Wait, what's gonna happen? Oh, Where my God, it's gross. A huge Rio. Better put it back in its Pokeball so I can import its soul onto a PC and trade it like livestock. Oh, gosh. You know, Yo, look at Mug's butt cheeks. Why are there so many butt cheeks in this video, Stop bro? Stop it, man. I know where you're What's going, going on? These videos are gross enough as it is. It's a miracle YouTube hasn't pulled the plug on this channel. Let's be honest. <laughs> Wait, do those moon Yo! X-rays turn like any toxic he makes his return. into a sentient being? Because... <laughs> If so, oh no. Oh yeah, his poop is gonna be- Oh no, there's poop mugs, bro. Poop climbers, what is going on? Anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like and click right here to watch another amazing one.